Welcome to lecture number 40 of the series Unreal 5 for Arcvis and in this lecture we will create a fluid simulation inside Blender for this faucet and sink and then we will import that simulation in Unreal. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, I'll open 3ds Max. I'll select these two objects and I'll export them in FBX. I'll go into File, Export, Export Selected and I'll rename this FBX file as Faucet and Sync. Let's now open Blender. I'll open Blender and I'll delete these three. I'll go into File, Import, FBX. I'll select my FBX file. I'll uncheck this box and I'll click on Import button. Yes. I'll select this object. I'll go into the physics properties and let's add a fluid simulation. I'll change the fluid type to effector and I'll check this box. I'll rename this object as effector. Okay. Yeah. Now let's go into the top view and I'll add ecosphere as an inflow object. I'll scale this down. And let's adjust the position for this inflow object. Let's go into the side view and I'll pull this up on Z. Yeah, I think this location is okay. Yes. I'll go into physics properties. I'll add a fluid simulation and let's change the fluid type to flow. I'll change flow type to liquid and flow behavior to inflow. Let's rename this object as inflow. Let's go into the top view. I'll add a cube for the domain. Let's scale this down. We'll put it right here. I'll scale this on Y axis. Let's go into the side view. I'll pull this up on Z and let's place it right here. I'll scale this down on Z axis. Yes. I'll apply fluid simulation and let's change the fluid type to domain. I'll change domain type to liquid. For now, I'll increase the resolution deviant to 96. I'll decrease the time scale to 0.2. Okay, yeah. Let's rename this object as domain. I'll check this box and I'll change the type to modular. Let's bake the simulation. Okay, so our baking is complete. Let's run the simulation. Yeah, I think this looks okay. Let's go back to frame number one. I'll free the data. I'll increase the resolution to VN to 128. I'll check this box and I'll set the end frame at 400. I'll change the type to all and let's make the simulation. Okay, so our bake is complete. Let's run the simulation. Yes, let's now select the domain and I'll go into file, export, alembic and I'll check this box, I'll uncheck normals and I'll uncheck these two options and I'll click on export button. 
Yes, let's now go back in Unreal. I'll go into my animations folder and let's import the Alembic file. I'll change the import type to geometry cache. I'll check these two boxes and I'll type in the scale value of 100. I'll adjust the rotation value later. For now, let's click on import. Okay, let's now select these two lights. I'll go into the top view. And by holding Alt on my keyboard, I'll create a copy on X axis. Yeah, I think this position is okay. Let's go into the perspective view. I'll go into the details panel and I'll set the outer cone angle to maybe like 60. No, I think it should be 80. Yeah. Let's search for temperature. I'll check this box and I'll set the temperature to 5500 or maybe 5000. Yeah, I think 5000 is okay. Yes. Okay, let's now select this geometry cache and I'll bring this into my scene. Okay, I'll press F to focus. Let's move this on X axis and I'll run the simulation because I want to adjust the rotation values. And I think I should rotate this on Y axis by 90. I'll press F to focus. I'll move this on X axis. Let's pull this up on Z. Yeah, there it is. I'll go into the top view and let's adjust the position. There it is. I'll move this on X. Move this on Y. Yeah, let's go into the perspective view. And I'll run the simulation. Let's rotate this on X axis by 90. I'll press F to focus. Let's move this on Y. And let's now run the simulation. I think I should type zero on Y rotation. And let's move this down on C axis. Let's run the simulation. Yeah, I should rotate this negative 90 on X axis. I'll press F to focus. There it is. Let's move this on Y. I'll pull this down on Z. And let's run the simulation. Yeah, I think this is okay. Let's rotate this on Z axis by 90. I'll move this on Y axis.
let's run the simulation yeah i think this is perfect okay let's go into the top view and i'll adjust the position for this geometry cache i'll move this on y i'll move this on x let's move this on y again let's try 341.5 342.5 yeah let's try 342 343 343.5 or maybe 0.3 yeah let's move this on y axis i'll add plus 1 or maybe subtract 0 0.5 yeah this is okay let's go into the perspective view and i'll pull this down on z axis yeah let's decrease the camera speed okay and let's run the simulation yeah i think this looks okay yes let's stop the simulation and i'll search for the water material let's search for this material in the content browser and i'm gonna apply this material on this geometry cache i'll click on this arrow this one okay let's now run the simulation yeah I think I should decrease the exposure. I'll search for post process volume. I think exposure is okay. Let's select these lights. and I'll decrease the light intensity maybe we'll try 5000 maybe let's try 8000 okay and let's run the simulation yeah I think this is perfect I think I should fractionally pull this down on Z. Let's select the geometry cache. And I'll fractionally move this on Z axis. Yeah. Let's run the simulation. First, let me adjust my view. And let's run the simulation. let's try 27 or maybe 26 let's run the simulation i think 27 is fine maybe 26.5 let's try 28 yeah yes so yes that's it for this lecture in the next lecture, we'll learn how we can generate clients on our static meshes. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next one.